Well, I heard Kingston and Salemville, and I had no idea where they were. I mean, I, I grew up just an hour away, and um, I knew the area. I knew places like Marquezan and Manchester, but did not know about Kingston or Salemville. So um, it was awesome to get to know a little bit more about the churches and already to meet some of the members that were there uh, when I got the call and already start to make those relationships uh, with some of the people who came down to introduce themselves and to tell me a little bit more about uh, the church here. So. Yeah, it was really exciting. I couldn't believe that we were being home. I thought our call was going to be anywhere but home. Um, so I was surprised and when we moved here, even more overwhelmed with just the blessing that it was to be in our home state, close to our family, and at the same time building this new family in our church. I really am grateful to all the people that have been a part of Zion for so long. God is the one who has allowed those people to make Zion what it is, so uh, we're really grateful. One of the best parts of being the pastor at Zion for the last two years is getting to form those relationships with so many of the families and having my family uh, just be a natural part of, of life here, of church life at a place like Zion. And uh, it really has been a privilege uh, to, to be the pastor, to be the leader of uh, the church and all the things that are going on here. And what I've learned is that what makes a church is the people. And it's not necessarily the place on the map or the amount of money they have saved up, it's the people who make up that church family. And um, what I love the most about Zion is when we came here, you know, our family was growing and 
you knew that we were just out of seminary and you guys accepted us, you loved us, and not only that, but I see that mutual family across the congregant members as well. A church is really kind of the backbone to a community. And to have a church that has been in a community for 125 years, uh, that is really a hallmark of God's blessing on a community. And to see the established families uh, with great-grandchildren uh, stemming back to great-grandparents who may have founded the church, and to see not just the family fabric of the congregation uh, trickling through the community, but then also to see that what's interwoven through that fabric is really you know, God's grace the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, um, bringing those families together for time and eternity. And, uh, you know, as Jesus is uh, spoken of in scripture, it says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Um, that really ties into uh, a congregation's purpose. Uh, and I think it's place in a community to, to provide stability and a sense of belonging and a place for family and faith to be um, fostered and able to grow. I think it's significant that Zion has been here for 125 years because it really it points to the fact that it's not just the result of what people are able to accomplish, but uh, we would not have existed for that long without God really being the one um, providing us with this congregation. And so I think it's, it's just a great testament to God's activity in our community. Um, it's not a result of, of just the people and making a human organization, but it's God allowing His church in this place uh, to be here for so long and, um, and really to have people just know that we're a place where 
they can come and hear God's word and be a part of a community of God's people. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a significant thing to have that many years to look back on.